Can we arise and do the motion back in prayer? Everyone, position your feet at a 45 degree angle. Arms up, extend at a 45 degree angle. Five on the left, two on the right, and repeat after me. Allah. 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 The Father of the universe. Father of the universe. The Father of love. Father of love. love. Truth. 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 Peace. 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 Freedom. 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 And justice. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My God and my salvation. My God and my salvation. By night and by day. By night and by day. Through His holy prophet. Through His holy prophet. Through Ali. Through Ali. Amen. Amen. Islam. Islam. Yeah, Islam. How you doing? Islam. All right. We'll touch on, uh, well, like I said, from uh, the Vienna Convention on Consular Relations, Article 5, and we'll do Article 36 and 37. But when we go into that, I just want to go into some things first. Uh, the letter we got uh, this past week, I thought Ronald had put in for this stuff, but I didn't do it. But he said he was, he was surprised that it came back. And what they've done, they made us part of the trade, the World Trade Center. Well, uh, as they recognize the council as a trade part, you know, being part of. And what the prophet said that we should be taking part in the affairs of man. And these are the affairs dealing in trade. And uh, they sent this as an honorary membership to the World Trade Center. And they sort of just put in the statement. It said, uh, the Council of the General Moral, where do you get that from? The World Trade Center of Chicago Law would like to present you with an honorary membership in the World Trade Center Association. It is truly amazing an opportunity to be a member. What we ask of you is to please provide us with your contact information so we can make sure they include you and your staff in all our news, events, and opportunities. It can be sent by the phone, <clears throat> which we already did already, in email. What that opened the door for <clears throat> is importing and exporting. And importing and exporting, there's a lot of money in that stuff. There's a bank, it's called the Luxembourg Bank. Luxembourg Bank, and that bank deals with transactions from any currency in the world. They uh, also they open the door for uh, once we take the format of uh, putting the state vast state into claim or to claim on, you can always put a monetary or create monies off that estate. You know what I'm saying? Based on the, the wealth of the estate, the, the monies will be backed by the wealth. You know what I'm saying? Will it be oil, water, you know what I'm saying, land itself, uh, uh, air, using the air, whatever, you know what I'm saying? The, the money that you, or the money system you create, will be backed by all that. You know what I'm saying? Gold, silver, whatever they have on their possession, their property, from where the land stretched from, or the vast estate. And that can include a lot of wealth. So the thing is that I don't want Federal Reserve notes, and we go further along into this, I would like to see the creation of our own, own funds. You know what I'm saying? down the road because we have control of the vast estate and put a full, put a full implementation into it. And uh, that was the thing that we had did early on leading up to this. See, that'll show you that spirit guides you. And we only had about two or three people. When we first started out, we didn't have a whole bunch of folks. And at the time, I really didn't want a whole bunch of folks. You know what I'm saying? Because <clears throat> you got to get people that have, like, like your vision or what you see. And maybe only two or three people can see that. I'm saying out of maybe 50. I'm saying and the thing is that when he did, we did these, these uh, DBAs, this was in, one was December 22nd, 2008, and the other was June 18, 2009. This right here called, well, the first one, well, First one is uh, no, the second first one was the more drew of a fat of a Roman in the fast. That was a, in December twenty second, two 
2008. The other one was the State of the Moorish People of the Republic. I'm saying we did business at it, and plus we put it in publication. It's a copy of those, of those uh, EVAs. Still functional, the number's still good. I'm saying it's still registered with the county clerk's office. Then from there, they didn't want to get more uh, capacity in the Illinois. So I said, I read that literature, and they gave, they gave a positive base. You had a birth certificate, death certificate, you know, whatever. I said, those things are issued by the county clerk's office. But I said that the DVA is issued by the county clerk's office. So we got them, you know what I'm saying? So they had to get it up from the positive. They gave us, because we had used that documentation, you know what I'm saying? I have to follow the rules, you know what I'm saying? Whatever they, 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 they create birth certificates, they accept those high school diplomas, and they have to accept these. You know what I'm saying? And then when I deal with these, see, you, 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 when you create this stuff, these DBAs, they give you like an affidavit, you see? And you put down what you have, what you in business to do. We put down to nationalize, to create your own business license, and this, that, and the other, to uh, do governmental business for the most, period. That's what I put on it. When they go back and trace this, under this uh, deal, the, the, uh, the uh, number, then they will find all that information. So, so when I have an apostille that will verify what we, we're doing, they had, they had no choice. But they didn't, man, they, they, they called everybody and their mama <laughs> to make sure they didn't give me this. I'm telling you, seriously, I was in there about almost an hour. <clears throat> I think it was only five, let me take five minutes to get one. And they had me in about an hour. Two or three groups of people had been in there. I was still sitting in there. So I had to, I had to act the fool with them. And once I did, they gave me the, you know, the, the apostille. But they, uh, they helped me to win this particular case. This was case was in, this was in uh, 2000, uh, The 2009, October 1st, it's when we had issued our first business license. Uh, it really rocked me to down the end of that black fold on my table. On my, on my, uh, we, we issued our first business license, you know what I'm saying? And when we issued it, we were going to have a hot dog stand right in front of 26 in California. Mm. That was a good place to get the ticket. Mm. That was my objective. It wasn't just to sell a hot dog. It was, oh uh, no, it's another one. It's at the top. Oh, the top. A, yeah, there, right there. Yeah. Uh, it was, that was my objective to sit in front of the 20, yeah, and that's one of the good places to get caught. You know what I'm saying? Right there in front of the jail. The, police, the deputy even had a problem with us. It was the uh, police that were getting paid by the guys who were riding in the concession trucks. They were paying these guys to keep other guys that they didn't. <clears throat> that wasn't hitting the heaven license according to them to be there. So we had to use this license and we put it in a publication. This is the first license we had issued. You know what I'm saying? Right here. This business license. And <clears throat> when we won that case, this, is, this was the outcome. Zero zero liability. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? PTC of Chicago. The city attorney couldn't, he couldn't come up with, and I showed him the apostille. I said, this, this document is an apostille. And then the, uh, the, uh, the judge, what is an apostille? I said, you, you went to school? <laughs> you asked me what an apostille is? And then you, you're a lawyer, you're an attorney, excuse me, an attorney, and they didn't teach you what international law. That should at least be part of your curriculum. I'm saying to understand what these apostles are, but the thing is that they didn't have, uh, they didn't, she, didn't, she, didn't, she didn't have nothing to come back. And as you notice right here, now you know they put all things in caps, but they didn't put me in caps. They did. They put me up lower uppercase because I had the eel to my name. And I told you it's so very key to have the eel or bait you attached annex to your name because they don't have a claim to it. And they're showing, now, if they had claimed to this, see the Chicago, because that's corporate fiction, right? 
Hey, that's all caps. But usually when they had to bring you into the bogus courtroom, they put you in caps. But they didn't put me in caps in this one. You know what I'm saying? Because like, we had, uh, you know, they had been I guess they've been familiar with our, with our particular, you know, demonstration. But more uh, in general, that they didn't put it in caps. But we beat them up. And one, I beat one short. That was one case. You know what I'm saying? They can continue to another. I was saying we beat in one case. Uh, the strong case, and I said, based on uh, Herb Smith revised statute, and I told him, based on own rule, we have the right to create our own license. You know what I'm saying? Based on those, and on, the, on those two things, I said, <coughs> we are body politic for one. I said, every body politic has the right to issue its own license. So, um, in anything, you know what I'm saying, whatever they want to issue, they can do it. I said, second most you know what I'm saying, based on the fact that it was on the home rule, on the Article 7, you know, Provision 6 of the Constitution, the Illinois State Constitution, that we have a right to do that. See, this is what I'm saying, that enforcing this stuff, now, you can say cited all day long, but you got to enforce it. You see what I'm saying? And this makes it better for the next person coming down the road, because they can always use this. We got one, like with cars, like for a uh, particular incident with me. No, it was not one me. It was a brother named Beeks, Sandy Beeks, uh, uh, Jamal. Wow. Call, call, yeah, yeah, cannabis. He had cannabis in his car, and I know uh, he had a Moorish plate, this night other. But we had took his car to the system. We conveyed it out to the system, but the thing is that uh, on that particular case, they had switched it, oh, the case over to the prophet. They put the prophet in there. Because the dude says, since we can't get it, then we can get the profit. That's what the city attorney said. I said, fine. There was a, it's called the city of Chicago versus Noble Drug. That's, that's, the case, that's the case file. In that case, we got the car without no encompass. We paid nothing. Nothing at all. I got my car like that through a trust. So we put it in a Morris trust, and they, they released it with no encumbrance. But they couldn't, they couldn't charge it. Because it was religious property. See what I'm saying? But I just showed you that to show you that this is an actual function of government. This is the affidavit I put in to the fact that we create the DBA. And I told them what we did in business to do back then to nationalize each of business licenses, air license, driver license, and travel plates. You know what I'm saying? For that issue. And yeah, this was they put it in publication. Made it a legal document. You know I'm saying everything that we, we did is according to procedural law and is done precisely. So if they cut attack, come back, I can I can cut them off. See what I'm saying? Because I ain't need no entry for them to come in. You see. So the thing is that this right here, was something was done February 3rd, 2009. Where we made ourselves the successors uh, of the vast estate, right here. This is this got recorded in the county. Along with this one, to show that. So when you take this class, you probably receive an appointment slip to show that you appointed uh, council agent. You know what I'm saying? And this is the one that got recorded into the county. Under uh, Herb Smith revised statute, paragraph 177. Okay. Court. So that your counselor's officer, you issued a badge, that's not the other. Y'all seen that badge before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, can you see? No, yeah. No. No. Ron, you got your Yeah. This more cleaner than mine. <laughs> I don't know, mine, mine's been in the wallet. <laughs> yeah. Like orange stains on it now. Yes. And that's the, uh, the badge of the issue. And, um, and that's where, you know, you have to, you know, you know be on, you know what I'm saying, five internationally, you know what I'm saying, you have to go to the international law. That's what we're going to deal with today. Uh, in regards to the Vienna Convention, what laws apply with along with all this stuff here?
and uh, it states in Article 5, Article 5 constant functions. It says, A, protecting in, in the receiving state the interest of ascending state of this national, both individual, or body's corporate. What is the body's corporate? Uh, anybody know? Body's corporate, yeah. Corporate body, I mean, the temple is corporate body. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that would be the state, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now it says within the limits, uh, within, within the limits uh, permitted by international law. B, it says further the development of commercial, economic, cultural, scientific uh, relations between the sender state and receiver state, otherwise promoting freedom relations between them in accordance to, with the provisions of the present convention. It says C, ascertaining, uh, asserting uh, by all lawful means, conditions and developments in the commercial, economic, cultural, and scientific life of the receiving state, uh, reporting thereon to the government of the sending state, giving information of persons interest, inter, uh, in, interested. It says D, uh, issuing passports and travel documents to nationals of the sending state and visas or appropriate documents the person wishing to travel to the sending state. So that's what we issue, travel license uh, or you know, so any other documents relating to like a, uh, like a plate, I'm saying created by a consulate. You can have a uh, plate still that's created by consulate that can be issued to the nationals of that particular body politic. It says E, it's a helping and assisting national, both individuals and bodies corporate of the sending state. Uh, F, now this is what we ain't got to yet, but we are. We have, we do have the civil register. It says acting as notary and civil register. It says in capacity of a similar kind, performing certain functions of administrative nature, provided that there is nothing contrary thereto in the laws and regulations of the receiving state. So let go back to the Act 4. Act 5. Act 5. Anybody will cite Act 5 from No, no, Act 5 is the Grand Constitution by law.
but this is a new era of time now. And all men now must proclaim their three national names to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained over to Ali the Prophet to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites who inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of a Mexico. Okay. All right. So the, uh, in the beginning with that, it says, "Quote well, says all members, according to yeah. you know, the original black constitution." Yeah. So the thing is that when it goes back to Act Four, it says all members must preserve and hold the dialogue, and all members must obey the laws of, of the government, because of being a Moorish American, you are part of part sale of the government in which uh, and must live a life accordingly. In Act Five, the organization of the more scientific American, which is the government. It's not to cause any confusion to overthrow the laws of the country or the said government. Said government meaning the United States mm -hmm. of America, which we went to last week. We showed back the dollar bill that that's part and parcel. You see, the part and parcel is international law. Okay, by the dollar bill. Now it goes on. It says here. Uh, let, me, let me touch on the civil register. We are we are all you know council. Our civil register, meaning, but this is our national register. He has this for the for the nation, for the round, cheap round of red air bay. He does uh, communication with all the relatives that they we're registering across the country. So he keeps in communication with them and makes sure that their paperwork is recorded here in the county. Uh, so all councilors are supposed to be civil registers. Okay. If you go back to the Bus Vanty Code, which is the law that the prophet signed on, the only international law he signed on to was the Bus Vanty Code. And, and then with that, it's, they developed what's called civil registers. And so you register back to, your, to the state. And so that's what the prophet said. He said, he, he said when you, you're out of order, he said, I'll put you back in the state. That's that word. I found you in. And what state was that? Huh? United States. Yes, sir. That's in the land of slavery. I'm saying I'm going to put you back in slavery. I'm saying based on your you violating your love life, you know, excuse me. Love, 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 true, love true peace, freedom, and justice. You violate that. Then I got to see you back. You say, turn your feds and your button. And your button, and your turn, turn, and your turban, turn, turn them in. And I'll put you back in the state I found you in. You know what I'm saying? It's very key work. Remember the prophet talking the law. Now he said, gee, he says, Safeguarding the interests of nationals, both individuals and body corporates, of the city state in case of secession, what's called mortis costa, it's a Latin term. It said in the territory of the receiving state in accordance with the laws and regulations of the receiving state. It says here, it's the H, safeguarding within the limits that are imposed by the law and regulations of the receiving state. Uh, it said the interests of minors and other persons lacking full capacity who are nationals of descendant state, particularly where any guardianship, trusteeship is required with respect to such person. Now, that's one particular case where DCFS had took uh, custody of the, uh, who was the, what they call Mexican American child. They had to release DCFS had to release that child back to his to the father. The father was considered a Mexican national. So they said, no, you gotta release him. The Mexican consulate got involved and said, I got the, I got the case law. You gotta release him back to, his, to, to, to our state. You can hold him. So that'd be any same thing we're here with uh, DCFS, right when you wanted the children of our, you know, of our loins they will have to return back to our state. You know what I'm saying? That's what they have to do. You know what I'm saying? According to international law, according to the Vienna Convention, they will have to send them back to our state. Now, remember the case with the uh, Cuban, Cuban child? Mm -hmm. Bill Clinton got involved and checked, keep them, mm -hmm. but they had to send them right back to Cuba because they had they, they, they inserted the, the Vienna Convention. You, can, you got to respect this. You know what I'm saying? You got to release that child back. There was a lot of people who were trying to keep the child here, remember? Mm -hmm. They couldn't. They had to follow. They had to follow this law right here. 
It says here, uh, ah, it says, subject to the practices <coughs> and procedures obtained to, which are obtaining in the receiver state, representing or arranging uh, appropriate uh, for representation for nationals of the senior state before the tribunals. Other authorities of the receiving state for the purpose of obtaining in accordance with the laws and regulations of the receiving state. Provisional measures for the preservation of the rights and interests of these nationals, where because of absence of any order or any other reason, such nationals are unable to unable at the proper time to assume the defense of their, of their rights and interests. So <clears throat> Uh, what we used to do, we used to go to court for people, we used to defend them in court. we go before the judge, tell them a little more counsel, and we have to defend them according to our divine constitutional bylaws. According to our divine constitutional bylaws, and she's under, according to his, his proclamation of nationality, that he made under, under this state. You have to respect this according to the Vienna Convention. So they, they, they shut the whole thing out. They said, well, you, you, could you just please, they all sit down and get in here asking, sir, are you a, uh, are you a licensed attorney? And I said, no, I don't want to be. You know what I'm saying? They said, I said, I'm a Morris Consul. I said, based on the fact that this, he's a member of this state, according to Act 6, according to Act 4, I'm supposed to present him. You know what I'm saying? But according to the uh, Vienna Convention, they're saying in Article 5, the states that I must uh, pre you know, present him, I'm saying, and not to be, he not to be given over to your attorneys. Because that's a conflict of interest. This guy, you know, these attorneys work for y'all. So they're not going to fight in, in behalf of, uh, of our interest. They're going to be in the interest of the state. Of the court. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So that says this is going to be a conflict. But this right here will lead the way. More divine constitution about laws. You know what I'm saying? The enforcement of and then the enforcement of the Hurst Smith Divine Statute. Because I said he's conveyed property. He said conveyed property. I said, yeah. Conveyed property. You know what I'm saying it's called upon the divine state. And uh, this is all the laws he's under. You know what I'm saying? And I'll put now I hold up this. I said, this is the law. I had one, one judge in DuPage County, he did that too. But you know what? That can't go a whack it, could He didn't verbally say yes. He just nodded his head. Yes. That is the law. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is that showing that we're under these particular laws on more scientific America, because we are considered, you know, a local government on the, uh, uh, what you call it, the Const Illinois Constitution. The home rule, yeah, mm -hmm. Illinois Const State Constitution. But based on the fact that we are a nation, that can be stretched out from Cook County. Cook County is the only place where the capital of the Lord San Temple is, you know what I'm saying? So you can stretch it out as far as shit, all the way to Uganda somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can stretch it out. Let me show you something. Now, we created districts. Uh, we Come on. Districts. Can you hold the other side? Throughout this country. We're going to do one to create a map that reflect this. Now, right here, <coughs> excuse me, this is District 1. So that'd be Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, right there. This is the Midwest. This is District 1. Now we do have a field. We feel District 2 and we feel District 3 and District 4. We have what's called Deputy Consular Generals there. Okay? District 2 is from, from out of the street port of Louisiana. District 3 is out of Tamarack, Florida. District 4 is out of New York. What's the brother? Uh, he's out of New oh, York. Tamar right? Albay. Albay, yeah. He's in over District 4. Now, what we have open will be 
five, six, and seven. Because all of that is going to be seven districts in all. And these particular districts, see, according to Harry Smith for that statute, this is what the Vatican does, you see. They create districts throughout the world to extend themselves out. Do like the United States do? What they do? What, the, uh, what they call the Buck Act? 19, I think 1931, but they extend themselves out through the zip codes. That's the mm. district into financial districts, school districts. I'm saying when they use the term district, they were referring to Washington, D.C. You know, if you're in Washington, D.C., when you're in their districts. So we have legislative districts, senatorial districts, and they use these term districts. There's an expansion of them from where they are. So it's the same thing from Cook County. <clears throat> you have to extend yourself out, do districts, these physical districts. I'm saying this is what the Vatican does. They, they extend themselves out from, from Cook County all the way to Rome, Italy, the Vatican City. See? They're based on her Smith Revised Statue Law. You can do that. You can extend yourself out. So even Home Rule talks about that, extending yourself out. You know what I'm saying? You're not subject to one particular locale. You, you can expand, see? And this is only for the, for the, for the, for the continental you know, United States, which we call 50 states. <clears throat> we just expanded. You know what I'm saying? But soon, this is going worldwide. And we're going to, the district's going to be a little larger. So, but this gives you some idea of what we're doing here. This is why we put on our badges, District 1. Do all the other places, which is District 2, District 3, District 4, on their particular badges, and also the, the appointment stuff that they're given. All right? According to Vienna, the Vienna Convention, according to the Geneva Convention, according to international law, period, we're part of parcel, so we're practicing international law. You see? And that's how we expanded it. Thank you. Well, this is the, uh, just an outline of what we're going to create. And uh, we're going to do it uh, through the bad constitution of our law. That's going to assist in the law. Now, we're going to, what we do? Uh, with Jane. Transmitting judicial and extrajudicial documents or executing letters, orbitary or commissions to take evidence of, for the courts of the sending state in, the, uh, in accordance with the international agreements in force or in the absence of such international agreements or any other manner compatible with the laws and regulation of the receiving state. Now, this is when we put the paper in the courtrooms. <coughs> we have the right to do that according to the Vienna Convention. We can put anything into anyone's courtroom, into anybody's court document, based on right here, transmitted through our consulate or post, can transmit through their judicial proceedings. You know what I'm saying? You can do that. It says here, K, exercising rights to supervision, inspection provided in the law, for in the laws and regulations of the sending state, in respect of vessels having the nationality of the city state or aircraft registered in that state in respect of their crew. Now, what you can do, did you know you can nationalize your car? Did you know that? Yes. You can nationalize your car. You give it a nationality. Anything you own, you can nationalize. That's why they nationalize, you know, like different countries they nationalize the, the boats. The planes, whatever they own, they're nationalizing. So it'd be protected under the Vienna Convention. Yes, sir. The uh, banks nationalize it. Yeah, they are. Right. They nationalize. They got that Yes, sir. How do you go about that nationalizing? Right, by conveying the property. I guess by conveying it. Yeah, just conveying it. You know, like, uh, like we do with the people proclamation. Well, the same thing when like, we take the car and put it on the more central America, then you have nationalized that car. It has a nationality. Yeah, because they are, they express trust as it is a constitution. Yeah, that's right. 
So, right here, hold on, see where I'm going. Uh, you know, it's extending assistance to vessels and aircraft mentioned in sub paragraph in the, of this article. And to their crew, taking statements regarding the voyage of the vessel, examining and stacking the ship's paper when without prejudice to the powers and authority of the receiving state, conducting investigations into the inc incidents which occurred during the voyage, settling disputes of any kind between the master, the officers, the seamen, or so far uh, as they may be authorized by laws and regulations of the same state. So that means what? We bring it down to traffic stops, right? But they, the uh, right here, they violate the uh, we call to uh, according to the uh, uh, what's called the uh, Morocco the uh, Moroccan Treaty of Peace and Friendship. It said that they're not supposed to uh, molest, prevent, invade, or whatever from us traveling in our vessels. They're not supposed to do that. They violate the treaty. But the thing is that if they were backed up, we'll be Article 5 of the Vienna Convention. It states that we are operating in our vessels. And as we travel, regardless, it's going to send the police not to molest us or mess with our vehicle or all the documents we have to support uh, usage of this vehicle while we travel in this vehicle. I'm saying we, we have the support from our council post, which is our based in our, our government, which is based on our, what our laws state that our government, what we can and cannot do. They have no right to invade that in accordance with Article 5. I'm saying. And now, here you know, it says performing any other function entrusted to a consulate post by the city state, which are not prohibited by the laws uh, and regulations of the receiving state. Uh, to which no objection is taken by the receiving state or which are referred to in the international agreements enforced between the sending state and the receiving state. So that, that'd be a treaty. That'd be a treaty. Uh, they're not to, what we do here, to say for us being here, this is now international ground. It's just us being here. And wherever we stand, by us being more international, you know that that wherever you stand is international territory. This thing you stand in there. It's international territory. According to the protocols of the of the State Department. That's according to the protocols. I'm saying by you been just being there, you're created where they come international. I'm saying, but the thing is that you gotta remember two words, par and parcel. And that's it. I'm saying, and that's what the prophet said, we operate on the we're on a part and parcel. On the, with the said government, said government being the United States. I'm saying, and the thing is that for one, based on a part and parcel relationship, they didn't have to obey these conventions. It must be obeyed. It must be obeyed. Yes, sir. Are the State Department giving us our props now because we checked a couple of years ago and we called down there and asked them, do they recognize diplomatic immunity for the Moors? Mm -hmm. And they said no. Right. Well, they're the thing they're going to say it open, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say it. Okay. I'm saying when we got our books and stuff, they said, you know, they put, I can show you uh, the slip that came back. I'll show it to you. Are they giving us uh, any uh, proof as far as diplomatic license plates or? Uh... Well, you create that, you know what I'm saying, based on your, your classification. National Archive Record 147 and uh, Defense uh, Department of Justice file number and also the, the, the Department of Justice, then Department of Defense file. Yeah, go ahead, brother. So just alone by filing in the county and annexing the EO to our name, uh -huh. how does that affect the uh, status of Negro and not color? Did that, they, they remove that. So they remove that, you know what I'm saying? So, yes. oh, excuse me. Brother. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. So where, where, where could I seek out that information? Like if I wanted to find out if the actual factors of my records being corrected? Well, you got to go and correct them yourself. Okay, exactly. Right. You have to take a certified copy from the county and you can make the correction. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Until we're able to expand this thing more so, or we have consulate agents and all you have to do is come in and then you go and correct your paperwork. 
So we haven't got that clear point yet. Mm -hmm. But so you can correct it like that way. So do we have uh, steps of protocol to do, initiate that process? Yeah, you, you know, in fact, you know, you know, people do it all the time. They, uh, you know, like, for instance, uh, uh, on your job, you can uh, take your paperwork to you and uh, they put it in your, in your work file that you're more natural. And then, same time, you have, uh, which people with Social Security, uh, the birth certificates and all that stuff, uh, all that corrected, what's that, based on the certified copy. I mean, they can't deny a certified copy. So, okay. uh, you just don't take the paperwork, you know what I'm saying, a copy of it. No. Because that's, that's, they ain't going to accept that. But when it's a certified copy, they can't deny it. See? Because it's certified from the county. And that's what you take. You take your certified Morris Nationality paperwork from the county recorder and give it to whoever that you want to correct your status with. You take a certified copy of the profits, right? Certified copy. That makes that, 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 you got the negotiable instrument you can use. Get with it. We can do that for our driver's license. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take a, uh, in fact, they had to have a stick uh, to a fill out. And they, uh, they took, uh, remember that system? you remember that? When they took it down to kill uh, with the Secretary of State. It was a form that they gave us to fill, I had to fill out. You know what I'm saying? And they took it back. And they get them, they corrected the they, uh, stay ID, drive license, all that stuff. Yeah. Yes, sir. Our driver license would say now um, it would be in lowercase and it would have. No, it's still keeping uppercase. It's still keeping uppercase. But then we have the, you got the bay, right? Yeah, they have. Yeah. They'll put the, uh, you know, to the bay to your name. And then they give you a different number. Yes. Right. Without uh, passing, I'll write the travel. Yeah, I don't, I don't use the like you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, if people, if they still want to use those instruments, right. you know, it's best to get them corrected, but then also put down the classifications on them so that, you know, they are, uh, uh, like the contractual, they have the contract, probably, you know, with you, but those documents and put you on their clauses. But you put them on notice that you're on a different classification now, it can happen. Right. You see what I'm saying? Okay. That's what you have to do. Okay. Yeah. So you can still use the instruments. There's nothing wrong with using instruments. You just put your classifications with them. That's the difference. Yes, sir. And you say you get the forms at the Secretary of State in order to do it. The reason I'm asking because I'm uh -huh. getting ready to come up. Okay. So you get the form from the Secretary of State and they and just fill them out there and then they'll put Ill or Bay on my name on record. Yeah. Because when I actually sign it, I can sign Ill or Bay. Right, right. But they want it, but I have to do it for the, their record. Right. When the police run it, he'll already automatically see it's an Ill or Bay. Right, because that's a, uh, uh, this a type of religious form. Oh, okay. Like that we did it filled out. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they, they had to bring it back to me to, to sign it, for me to sign it, and then they take it back over to across, across the, uh, Oh, that's Secretary of State or Lincoln, or Lincoln, or Lincoln, or Lincoln, or Lincoln, and uh, they, uh, uh, we had a whole bunch of work to, to go through that process, uh, but uh, it was uh, some type of phone, was some, some brother over there, I believe, who was trying, who helped them get that thing through, they had to go through in Springfield, mm -hmm. and they got okay from Springfield, and then they did it for, you know, everybody else. I actually did see a, see a driver license uh, from my brother uh, Ever. Mm -hmm. he, has, yes. he has that uh, license with this res on it. It's, it's got it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, he was the one. He, he went through that the group that was, uh, I had to sign for. And a lot, a lot of them went through. They had to uh, they had, you know, the pictures of feds and you know, the and they, and, uh, they put down a classification on, on the form. So they can be put into their record, to their driver record, where well, those classifications will pop up. Just like they, you know, just like they just further started with a license. The number changed and everything. So what do they register you as a Morris National then? Yeah, they have to. Yeah. So they have to. That's basically vacant or any encumbrances from that point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because they, uh, you're not held to that uh, those are uh, encumbrances because right. of your status. Tickets and all that. Yes, you're supposed to be held to that. 
And we can holler diplomatic immunity now. Well, you think you holler with classifications. <laughs> right. Don't do that. That encompasses the diplomatic immunity. But it's just the thing is you have to move a classification. Especially the main one uh, is, uh, you know, proper one document 10, 10, 5, number 5. But the other one beside that, which gives a drawing on the federal level, would be National Archives Record 147, book 5 dash to one file 5 dash three nine. That's the one, you know what I'm saying, right there uh, that got brought out of Afghanistan. Well, preventing him from going to Afghanistan. That one in the United States Department of Defense file one dash seventeen, and it was active. It's still active files with the uh, Defense Department. But the only ones we were able to have access to was the uh, Department of Defense. The only ones. But uh, when we come down to uh, local police and all that stuff, they just you know they they find it just they find it, it's there, but they don't access. They couldn't have access to it. You know, you know yeah. uh, I just thought about it. I just saw the new way they registered us down there at the uh, County Court of Deeds. Mm -hmm. And I did Lamar's. I printed up his doc number and I got a copy of it. That's why I was going to talk to him. And it popped up here. It's just, this might bypass, uh, you know, it says Morris National. We've got the 101095. So if you carry this one, that automatic. Like if you want to go register your driver's right. license, right. it's recorded at the county now. and. Now when you just punch in your number, it just punch up and it says uh, grantor, his name, and then uh, grantee, more signed Temple of America with the 1010. And that's, that might nip a lot of that giving them money, you know, for a certified copy when you're already rich. Yeah, but you know, it, it actually, they can say that, you know, they, they want, really they want a certified copy. They could, man, you probably make it get back. I'll try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, but if they give me a hard time, I get a certified copy. Take it with you just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Or just, you know, if you got to get one, it's good to have one, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what you have to use them for. They're good to have. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just something that's certified is just like you really don't guarantee. That's why I went to the county wife's statistics and got the information. Right, because the uh, even the uh, Herder Smith, the vast statue. Right. I mean, the Illinois Power Statue is the Herder Power Statue. Right. It's called the Illinois Power Statue because the way they they have the power by subject. Right. right, but I'm just saying, in the, in the, uh, the uh, laws that create the temple, mm -hmm. to tell you to, to duly get this to a certified copy. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Of uh, whatever you record, you record your nationality, whatever, or you record that you're uh, a sheep, whatever, they tell you to get a certified copy. But, you know, a certified copy is only acceptable in court anyway. Yes, sir. So then we have recorded. What's that? The amendment that we found? Yeah, you get a certified copy, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'd be, be best to have one. What's that? Because, you know, so they are doing court proceedings, they don't want to see copies, they want to see certified copies. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So not, not the original document that we have notarized, but. Right. They want to see a certified copy. And uh, that's the best way because uh, that shows that the, uh, the, the copy is real. Yeah. And, you know, anybody can put it. Stick on something. I'm saying uh, it's not, you know, uh, bona fide until they see a thing. Files are still in signature. And then those real. So, any more questions? Just, just, just for the record, uh, uh, what does DBA stand for again? Doing business ass. Right, doing business ass, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And uh, that's what we, see, that's what we're supposed to do. The property place my notice you, you, you put in the uh, DBA. Do business as, as more Central America, whatever. I'm saying you got to notify them. And that's the best way to notify them because that put it in publication. It runs three times, so they were placed on notice properly. So I'm saying you don't have to send them to them to mail to them UPS. I'm you know saying, you know saying you've been placed on notice. And that, I can't because you can't read. Yes. So basically, for us, 
the more merit that would be sufficient. You don't need to establish LLCs or any of that. No, no. You do DBAs. Because okay. that's through the county. That's the only real government. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. County clerks hold the he holds the highest authority. Believe me when I tell you. You know, more authority than the president of the state. Go ahead. And she, if, uh, I remember, if you do have a certified cop, uh -huh. that does help you. Right, they, they, okay. it, well, in, in this case. case you deal with, it does help you. Yes. Help with yeah, well, well, tell them about your case. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm fighting a, uh, Can you speak up? I'm fighting a, a drug case. I got a possession with a tent. I've been on this van like almost close to a year now. And uh, I have put in my court document or whatever. And my lawyer, he didn't know what a voice mac was. The judge had to tell him what it was. Because he said he had, you know, a few, you know, Latinos, blacks, and that's how I came to his courtroom. And based on my document and what the what the police saying on 25, I go back on 25th, and my case should be open, you know, based on on my court document. Now, when I first went there, my document was not in it was not in the court document. First, you yeah. certified copy of my, my, right, my certified copy wasn't in you know the court document. So I went back today; it was there. And on the 25th, I went on the 25th, man told me it looked good for me. I'm going to throw my case out. You know, so they do help you, though. They do help. It yeah. does help. I was going to see for 30 years. And I'm pretty ready to come home. You know, so they do help. Yeah, they right. help. Yeah, because the certified copy came to that. So. One other question, Chief. Well, you have to be a uh, consular official to claim uh, the Geneva Convention. Uh, no, you don't have to. You know, so long as you're national. Okay. So it's more national, but claim uh, the Geneva Convention that I've done. I say I'm telling you, I don't want you to call myself a consul. I was one of the four years self the court. I was using the uh, Geneva Convention. I come out of prison of war, which I was. Because they violated the treaty, and they took me captive. And that's, 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 a, that's an act of war. You know what I'm saying? Grabbing any national, you know what I'm saying, violating international law, you know what I'm saying, part and parcel of the same government. So we are, you know, we are nationals of a, of a foreign jurisdiction, you know what I'm saying, and that jurisdiction is the more scientific with America. So, yeah, let, me, let me ask you a question. Um, as far as as far as the you know the, the counselors in the other districts, mm -hmm. would they have to do a DBA for the for the for their you know Morris Council again? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have to do DBA to show that they do business in, in that particular area. And the next one we, we, we're going to do, uh, in those particular states, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have, you know, the district. Mm -hmm. The Senate like is where we are. We, I think we have access to bring five states. We're going to do, we're going to put uh, publications in all, all states. I'm saying to show that we operate uh, under District 1 of the Morris Council Post, uh, in Cook County, in, you know, Illinois. You know, for the more scientific American athletes and fans in these, in these locales, in this state, and put that government on notice. I'm saying, to, you know, a publication. You know, we do a publication and put us all over, but also to send them, uh, you know, you doing diplomatic work. You also got to make communication with their officials. And that's the main thing. We need to make uh, communication with the officials on our, 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 you know, business, our, our business to title, you know, our title on our letterhead and uh, let them know that we operate as a consulate post in this area. So if you might get arrested or whatever, they present the paperwork and the city can say that they never had a prior notice. But when we did put it in publication, then we sent your government, you know, a, 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 you know, send them notice. Yeah. Any more questions? Yes, I'll bring it. that already in play, or that's going to be, uh, is that in play right now? Yeah, that's in play right now. Okay. And we'll go, we uh, talked with the, the other people, and that's all, that's what we got to do in those particular areas. You know, in, in Florida, back, because uh, we, we are mostly East Coast covered. East Coast is covered. Saying from Florida all the way up to Maine. That's a couple of uh, it was just in the West. In Arizona and California, places like that. That was not covered. Ain't nobody out there. They know that that's that we naturalized. We we got some people that we naturalized out in California. Uh, but we're trying to put a post in 
in that little big, you know, particular areas, I'm saying, uh, you know, for counselors to operate out of, but it had to be placed on notice properly. Because even the, uh, this uh, State Department book tells you that you have to place them on notification. When you're operating out certain districts or whatever, you have to let those officials know that you are operating there. And so, so apparently, they got out. Because they never seen a this. We never got this. I don't know how the hell we get it, but we got it. And that's to show that you know, the work, we work, uh, we go out there and do it in sincerity, and then you put in divine work in the use of the profit, you know what I'm saying? Putting profit in the front. These are things that happen. You know what I'm saying? It happened, uh, you know, uh, Mysterious. Mysterious but we didn't put it in huh? Mysterious ways. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. When you're dealing with divine, you know, anything divine, that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? But you got to stay, you know, pure. You got to stay right. You know what I'm saying? You come outside those areas, that's when the Europeans going to meet you. You know what I'm saying? They're going to meet you. <laughs> but anyway, do I have more questions? Hold on. Oh, could we ride through the motion, McBrayer? Just read out 45 the angles. Arms uh, up, extended out the 45 the angles. Five on the left, two on the right. Repeat after me. Allah. 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 The Father of the Universe. Father of the Universe. The Father of Love. Father of Love. Truth. 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 Peace. 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 Freedom. 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 And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide and my salvation. My guide and my salvation. By night and by day. By night and by day. To his holy prophet. To his holy prophet. Drew Ali. Drew Ali. Amen. Amen. Islam. Islam.